please welcome beauty expert Danielle Lagos. Danielle, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me on your first show. Really nice to have you here. Now, with the change of season, we obviously all change our wardrobes, but in New Zealand, quite often that could just mean putting extra layers of clothes on top of the summer clothes. We're quite classy like that. <laughs> but we don't really change our skin regime, but we should be doing that, shouldn't we? We should, because in the summer, it's humid, there's lots of moisture in the air, and in the winter, complete opposite. It's dry and it's actually really unkind to our skin. Mm, it's ageing too. It, it, which, <laughs> none of that, please. So I thought I'd talk about some simple steps that you can do to get the most out of your skin in the winter. So first step, moisturiser. Face and body, we're, we're tackling both. Here we have D Dr. Dennis Gross, um, his moisture cushion and the amazing thing about this moisturiser, it has hyaluronic acid in it. Sorry, what? Hyalur what? Hyaluronic acid. Okay. That bad boy can hold a thousand times its weight in water. So that's really going to lock the moisture into your and skin. And plump the skin. Plump it. Good. It's going to look after you. I like plumping. There's a one part I really want to be plumped. <laughs> exactly. It's a good kind of plump. <laughs> so then, and also a nice reminder all over your body, Aveeno is so good at nourishing your skin. Mm. Keep it in the bathroom, keep it by your bed at night, so just remember to do it. Because we do our faces, don't we? But we don't often think about our whole body, like we're not getting our legs out necessarily, yeah. but we want them to look good still. Oh, it's so easy to neglect the rest of our body. So none of that this season now. Okay. Um, and then sunscreen. Got to push in, keep it on your skin. So you've got Garnier all over. You're still showing your skin in the winter. So you say you should be wearing it all over your body, yes. even in winter? Yes, okay. because the sun UV rays are still getting to you through the clouds probably more damaging because we're not aware of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then for your face as well, ultra are You Are you a fan of this one? I have this one myself. And what I really so. like about it is it's really mattifying. It yeah. doesn't, it's not oily or greasy. It doesn't feel heavy on your face at all. It's fantastic. And it's a moisturiser and an SPF, so it keeps it simple in the morning. Okay, excellent. So we've moisturised. Yeah. We've got sunscreen on yeah. as well. And you've, got, you've brought some things in which I am a little intrigued about because I'm not entirely convinced about this. Facial oils. Yes. I'm going to convert you, Mel, okay. because I, I've got oily skin, and I was like, oh, don't want to fight fire with fire. Right. But the oil that your skin produces is completely different to the Can oil. Can play with it? Let me have Please. a try of it. Okay, so this is a Trilogy one that you've brought in. So this is, the tr this is a cult product, Trilogy Rosehip Oil. Ooh, oops, it's got it. vitamins and fatty acids that your skin really oh. needs, so it's going to really repair your skin, as well as help fight dark spots, which no one wants. And it's just, feel it, it's light, right? That's really nice. It's great. To both hands, actually. Yeah, go on. So... The kind people at Trilogy have also given us some Rosapine night cream to give away, um, and everyone in the audience is getting one. So they're not, yeah, yeah, not bad. So their night cream actually has rosehip oil in it, as well as a lot of natural ingredients that will help your skin recover at night. That is fabulous, awesome. And we also have these great Trilogy packs to give away to you, uh, to those at home. Simply go to the cafe's Facebook page right now. Well, thank you so much, Danielle. That is great. Great to have you in, and we'll have you in soon again with some more hot beauty tips.